Well, speaking of fabulous, we're super excited about our next big night out. We are headed to a new restaurant in the Valley. It's a farm to table restaurant that's getting rave reviews. And Chef Mike is here to show us what we're going to be eating for our big night out. And we're going to make a lovely dessert that we're also going to be serving. So good morning. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You betcha. So congratulations. Everybody's talking about your restaurant. Pretty exciting stuff. It's very exciting. And the meal that we're going to be eating uh, for our big night out. Um, wow. You guys have really not our socks off with this. We're excited. So the restaurant's called Gather Americana, and we're going to be headed there in a few weeks, May 20th. So call now to reserve your spot. Uh, this is going to book up very, very quickly. What the deal is with our big night outs is that we go to local restaurants and they really pull out all the stops and give us several course meal. Um, and in this case, we're going to be pairing it with your choice of beers uh, or wine, whatever you prefer. Um, and they do it at a great price. So $50 per person, which is an unbelievable deal. So, Chef Mike, tell us our first course. Sure. Our first course, we have a gingered carrot bisque, creme fraiche. And then we have uh, some grow local microgreens on top. So it's beautiful. Um, and you are really big on getting as much as you can from, you know, local providers, local purveyors, which is very cool. Absolutely. Uh, given it's springtime and we're about three weeks out, so I'm really hopeful a lot of the stuff we, we are able to source. Um, and then for our salad, the second course? Sure. Uh, we have a braised pork belly uh, with uh, asparagus, a poached egg, and shaved Bella Vitano from Sartori. It is beautiful. And if you haven't had pork belly, it's like... Kicked up bacon. I mean, it's seriously good oh, stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yum. Absolutely. Now, um, now we're going to move on. So it's a surf and turf dinner that they've put together for us. Uh, our next course is seafood, fish. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Well, halibut right now is hitting. Uh, it's the great season for halibut. Uh, so we have a truffle cauliflower puree, mm. uh, sautéed spinach, and then a, a beautiful seared piece of halibut uh, to top that off with a little uh, Parmesan frico. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And get this, we're not done yet. Uh, so with surf and turf, as far as the turf goes, we wanted, wanted to, to do a great steak. We know and everybody loves fantastic steak with dinner. So tell us about this. Sure, we have a uh, sliced Delmonico steak, Delmonico just being a different cut of a New York strip, uh, with a potato gratin, uh, a little Chianti Demi, and then we have a ramp butter. And ramps right now, uh, if you're a forager, are just hitting the woods. And so it's really kind of a neat thing to, uh, to go out and find. Mm, great flavor too. So that looks unbelievable. And save room for dessert because that's what we're going to make right now. So, a uh, one, two, three, four, five course meal for $50 paired with uh, your choice of uh, wine or beers, uh, to, which will match with the pairings. Can't wait. So, dessert. What are we making for dessert? Sure. Uh, so, uh, my mom always made a rhubarb crunch, and so I wanted to do a play off of a rhubarb crunch. So, today we have a poached rhubarb with a vanilla bean custard and spiced granola. Very soon, we're all going to have rhubarb coming out of our ears, neighbors dropping it off. So this is a fun um, kind of upscale way to use it. So first, let's start with um, the, this that we're going to boil the rhubarb in. Absolutely. Uh, so I've just made a simple syrup here. So a one to one ratio, one cup of water to one cup of sugar. OK. And then uh, to spice it up a little bit, we, we've added uh, green cardamom. Um, cardamom has wonderful floral kind of notes to it and will pair really well with the rhubarb. So we just drop that in? So at this point, um, the rhubarb itself is only going to take two to three minutes. Okay. So we'll, we'll finish that off there. Okay. But the green cardamom, um, what I like to do is, is kind of just, just crush it up a little bit, and we're going to just add those in there. Bring it up to a boil, um, and we'll, we'll kind of set that on the back burner. Okay, there. all right. We'll let that do its thing, and then we'll put the, plop the rhubarb in. Okay, custard. We're going to make custard. a vanilla custard. Absolutely. If you haven't done vanilla custard, um, wonderful dessert way to bring in some you know rich richness into this so right away to start uh, we have two cups of milk that's heavy cream actually oh this is heavy that's cream. okay that's one cup of heavy cream and two cups of our wonderful lamers whole milk that we're using we love their milk so two cups of milk so it's a real simple recipe and one cup of sugar one cup of sugar if that if you put, put that it in all there. in at the same time absolutely okay so one cup of heavy cream two cups of milk and one cup of sugar then you just kind of whisk that together yep do we want this to boil we are going to bring this up to a boil okay um, before that I'm going to add my vanilla bean in so I just have a half a vanilla bean here and with vanilla beans if you haven't used them before you just slice it down and then you're going to scrape out all those seeds on the inside and the seeds are really where a lot of that flavor is mm -hmm. so we're gonna just add that in there and I like it because you can see the little specks of the vanilla in there absolutely all right this is boiling do we want to do anything with this the syrup uh, the syrup we can just turn down to okay. a simmer at this okay. point okay sounds good 
Uh, so for my custard, um, the idea of what thickens custard is the eggs. Uh, you have to be very careful as to not scramble your eggs. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our, our cream and milk mixture up to a boil, okay. and we're going to temper our eggs. Okay. All right. So we'll wait for that to do that. Um, should we plop our rhubarb in? We, we can definitely plop our rhubarb in. Before okay. uh, we get to that point, one thing I like to do, especially with early rhubarb, is I like to be able to peel it. Um, and that you can just take that outer skin off. Makes it a little more tender? It does. Okay. It doesn't stick in your teeth as bad. Okay, well, that's good too. So we're going to keep these as whole pieces and just kind of drop those in and shut the heat off and okay. let those sit in there. Okay. If you're doing this ahead of time, what you could do is just pour this over, over and let it sit at room temp for about an hour and then throw it in your refrigerator. All right, now that this is a crunch, there's a nice crunch to this dessert. You were talking about your mom's crisp and I love the crunch. So we're making a homemade oatmeal, or not oatmeal, granola. Granola, yep. Okay. So if you want, hand me that glass bowl over there. You betcha, the, the big one. one. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And a measuring cup would be great. Uh -huh. So we've got some oats. We've got some great oats here from the bulk uh, This food is from shop. the bulk food shop. Yep. Love so them. we're going to just uh, go with two cups of oats. Okay. I have uh, some some shaved or sliced almonds that we're going to add into this. So one cup of almonds. Okay. And uh, honey. Honey is going to kind of bring it all together for us. We have a little bit more honey. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt would be great. Cinnamon? Cinnamon, yep. All of it or just a little bit? Uh, just about half of that. So okay. just a dash of cinnamon okay. would be nice. And then uh, to kind of give it a, a, a little bit of a spice, we have some cayenne pepper that I'm going to add to this. Really? That is something I didn't think about. And that's what you guys do at the restaurant. You kind of um, surprise us with some different things, things that you might not have thought about, right? Absolutely. And we have a little bit of melted butter we're going to add to that yet. Okay. And so we're just going to kind of bring this all together right before we bake it. And you can see our cream right there is coming, coming nicely. Should I uh, scramble these eggs? Yep, if you would, okay. that'd be great. And then we're gonna temper. So we'll put a little bit of the cream mixture in with the eggs and then dump the eggs back in. Absolutely, yep. Um, if we were to put the eggs straight in there, as Chef said, you might risk scrambling the eggs and then your custard would be, would be ruined. So yeah, sometimes this is a two-person job, so thank you, Chef. How's that looking there? Looking good. If you want to go ahead and add the rest of it. I actually like to add all of it in right away and then we'll put it back in the pot. Then you're for sure not going to no. Yeah, you're sure you're not going to get scrambled eggs. You're and good to go. All right. Oh, that smells delicious. So one thing you can't do is you can't walk away from this. Okay. If you walk away or if you stop mixing it, that's when it, the, the scrambled eggs will start building on the bottom and, okay. and you have a ruined custard. Okay. The granola in the meantime is ready to go on the sheet pan. So we have a lined sheet pan with some parchment paper. And our oven's going at 350 degrees. And this will go into the oven for about 15 minutes. About halfway through, I like to uh, be able to pull it out, kind of turn, yeah. turn the... I get you. And then... Um, Basically, let's put this beautiful dessert together. Do we want that custard? What are we looking for? So one thing that you, you're really looking for with the custard is as this comes up to a boil, and you won't see this yet, um, but you should be able to take your finger and kind of go through the spoon, and you want it to stay on both sides and not be runny. Okay. Uh, and you'll, you'll be able to see the bubbles as well. The larger bubble will start to form uh, in, in the cream itself or in the custard. So I have some made up already, so we, we're, we're going to be able right to plate there. this. Yep. Uh -huh. And this is absolutely wonderful. If you had an ice cream maker at home, you can even take this and put it in your ice cream maker and make some wonderful, wonderful vanilla, vanilla bean ice cream. Mm. And then we've got some granola that's already done. Yep. Are we ready for our rhubarb? I believe so. So I like to keep the rhubarb a little... Have a, so that has a little bit of a crisp yet to it. So okay. we're just going to layer rhubarb So down. don't overcook it, in yep. other words. Nope. Okay. Nope. I, I'm not looking for a pile of mush. Okay. And we're going to just simply top this off with some of our crispy granola. And it's kind of uh, my play off of my mom's rhubarb crunch. And a nice way to end the evening. Absolutely. Oh, that looks fantastic. So this is what we're going to be eating at Gather Americana, May 20th. It is gonna be one fantastic night. Call today to make your reservations. This is gonna fill up very, very quickly. 
Um, and the number is right there on the screen. You can also go to our website and get more details. Fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and that big, bright, black and white box that says Big Night Out. Join us. It's going to be fantastic. I can hardly wait. Chef Mike, thank you so much for sharing and well, coming. thank you for having me. We'll see you in a few weeks. All right. Can't wait.